everyone welcome back to the channel today i have created a workflow that allows you to generate videos infinitely whether it's text to video or image to video so here is the workflow i have created you can download it from aistudynow.com the site requires one time email verification and once that's done you will be able to download the files instantly anytime also a quick side note i recently came across a really cool ai theme t-shirt over at wilddragon.in it's definitely worth checking out use our exclusive code ai study now at checkout to get 30% off anyway back to what we were talking about the keynote we use in this workflow is called for loop start in simple terms a loop tells the comfy ui workflow to repeat over and over until something tells it to stop and to end the loop we use the for loop end node inside the loop settings there is a field labeled total which lets you specify how many times the loop should run for example four times or whatever you want you can manually set how many loops you want however if you are aiming for a specific video duration like 15 second video you might not know exactly how many loops are needed and that's where the math node comes in handy in the settings you can define the desired time for example 15 seconds the fps 24 the length per clip which will be 81 frames then we use the math node to calculate how many loops are required and for that we have a formula here it is a into b minus c divided by c where a is equal to total seconds b is fps and c is and c is length so you calculate with this formula and the result which you will get is so this means the four loop start will run three times each loop generates about 81 frames so 3 into 81 equals to 243 frames total so let me explain why when generating 243 frames at 24 fps you technically get about 10.1 seconds of footage however we are using overlaps specifically 10 overlapping frames between clips with three clips you have two overlaps when you generate a 15 second video you might actually get an output of only 12 seconds finally the for loop end node combines all the generated clips into a single cohesive video so you will see there is a setting section this makes your work much easier in this section you can set the resolution the length of the video the frames fps how many seconds long you want the final video to be and importantly you can define the overlap between clips all of these settings help you control the output precisely making it simple to generate exactly the kind of video you are looking for next in the model group you can choose the any van 2.1 model to generate your video if you want to create an image to video enable that section and if you prefer text to video use that instead it's fully customizable based on your needs so once you are happy with the initial video output you can then enable the loop group section 
for the loop setup we also use the when 2.1 waste model if the click run and based on how many loops you have set for example three loops the system will generate the video three separate times after the process is complete the four loop end node will combine all those clips into one single video so let's work on the example here is a text to video example i have added it as a prompt and set the total time to 15 seconds however due to overlapping frames which are used to create smooth transitions the actual usable video ends up being around 12 seconds long with about 3 seconds used for overlap in this case i am using the fusion x when 2.1 model to generate the video so this is the result which we have got as you can see in the result it does an amazing job the video shows a man riding a bike with explosive effects in the background and the motion looks very natural you saw we get the output of the result which is 5 seconds long now if you want to increase the length of the video you just need to enable the loop settings once enabled the system will use the same prompt repeatedly for each loop in this example i used three loops the downside is that since the same prompt is used every time the scene tends to repeat or loop as well to avoid repetition and make the video more dynamic you can manually change the prompt for instance in the second loop i changed the scene and added a new prompt to see if it would generate what we described in second prompt so let's see if it successfully changes the scene and finally yes it did around the 5 second mark you can notice the change in the loop group of the generation we described fire on the bike and the model successfully included fire effects around the bike the same way you can generate image to video in which you have to disable text to video and enable image to video here in loop setting you have to select video text image so that's how you can use this workflow to generate videos that can run for unlimited time by looping thanks for watching today's video if you found it helpful please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials and content like this see you in the next one bye bye